mean, uh, David Lee Travis gave no visible reaction at all as the not guilty verdicts were read out. As he emerged from the courtroom, though, into the corridors, he said, I'm not delighted. Now, that was a theme uh, that he continued when he came outside to speak to the press. Uh, it's been clear for anyone reporting this trial the strain it's been having on him perhaps understandably this is a man very angry that uh, some of these women have waited 40 years to come forward with these allegations allegations that have come in light of the jimmy savile revelations it was the publicity surrounding jimmy savile that has led to the accusations against uh, Dave Lee Travis. In fact, one witness said that uh, when she saw the Jimmy Savile news, she said to a friend, you mark my words, DLT will be next. But a jury took three and a half days to find him not guilty of all the charges except for two on which they could not decide. Well, as he came out, Dave Lee Travis spoke of the hell that he's undergone. First of all, I'm not over the moon about any of this today. I don't feel like there's a victory in any, in any way, shape or form. On the contrary, um, I think you already know that I've, uh, I've been through a year and a half of hell on this, um, which included uh, costing me so much money to pay out for, for my part of this trial uh, that proving the point that not, not all famous people have got loads in the bank, therefore I had to sell my house in order to do it. But that's okay, I'm not moaning because there are lots of people worse off than me. Um, however, I did lose my reputation as well, um, which I may try and get back later. But basically, I want to say that I've been, I've had two trials. I've had one trial by media and one trial by Crown Court. And I have to say, in all honesty, that I prefer trial by the Crown Court. And all I want to do now is go home, relax with my wife, who's also been suffering through all this with me, um, and been by my side all the time. Thank you for your attention, and uh, we'll leave you to it. Thank you. Well, that was Dave Lee Travis a short while ago giving his reaction here on the, the court steps to those not guilty verdicts and, of course, two verdicts that are still to be decided on. Now, the Crown Prosecution Service will meet with uh, senior police officers in a couple of weeks' time to decide whether to pursue those two charges uh, to the point of a retrial. Uh, but this is what Detective Chief Superintendent Keith Niven had to say about today's verdicts. We fully investigate every case, and once sufficient evidence is obtained, investigators work with CPS lawyers and a decision whether to charge is made. In the case of Mr Griffin, a prosecution was brought, he was tried, and the jury have reached their decision. We encourage victims to come forward and pledge our commitment to support anyone who has been subjected to sexual abuse. We continue to work closely with our partners and dedicate resources to investigate crimes of this nature. We will ensure that all victims have a voice. Well, those uh, victims or alleged victims did have their voice in terms of giving evidence against Dave Lee Travis. At one point, while he was denying these charges, he said, well, it's their word against mine. And it's clear that the jury here has decided that they believe his word and not theirs.